What are the signs your Ramadan has been accepted? Imam Shafi rahimahullah he says, "Fiya tara mal faida tu bi ibadat ishahrin kamila in atba'tha bi auda tin ila siluk ishahrin." He said, "What's the point of worshiping Allah for a month if you're going to follow it with eleven months of disobedience?" So it's important that we're trying to form habits, inshallah ta'ala, that will outlast Ramadan and go beyond Ramadan. We have to understand the the you know Imam Al Qayyim rahimahullah he says that the acceptance of an act shows in its continuation. You know, if after Hajj you're still staying away from the things you stayed away from in Hajj, and you're still and you're worshiping Allah more, you're a changed person. That is a sign that Allah has, has accepted your Hajj. If after Ramadan, you know, you have that what they call it was it called Eid Milan, right? Welcome back, Shaytan, right? The parties, right? Where Subhanallah, everything is. Did I just get in trouble? <laughs> okay. Whatever it is, the parties that take place afterwards, the welcome back shaitan parties, mashallah, where you know we do everything that we do before Ramadan all over again, right? And we celebrate and read Quran and then party again. All of that is a sign that your Ramadan was not accepted. What is a sign of acceptance is that you continue in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa taala. How do I make use in these last in, in these last few nights? You know, subhanallah. There's the hadith and there's the brother who is asking one of the questions. You know, what do I do if, uh, you know, if if I sleep through the night? If I if I don't wake up and pray qiyamul lid? the Prophet ﷺ said what? He said that praying fajr and isha in jama'a counts for the entire night of standing up in salah. That is in Ramadan as well as outside of Ramadan. So you know, Imam Al Qayyim rahimahullah said, read that hadith the other way. He said that means that if a person prayed the entire night, he would just be trying to achieve the award of someone who prayed fajr and isha in jama'a. He'd be fighting and striving the entire night, non-stop, trying to achieve what the other person was able to achieve just by Fajr and Isha um, in Jama'ah. One of the signs of an accepted Ramadan is that our life changes even if it were to mean, or even if it was to mean, just by a few inches. But the life has changed. If my life changes after Ramadan, it means my Ramadan was correct. If my life becomes better after Ramadan, it means my Ramadan was correct. But if my life goes back to where it was before Ramadan, then I wasted my Ramadan. You know, Shaytan, as we have learned from the blessed lips of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the devils or the main devils are tied up in the month of Ramadan. So what would happen is it is an opportunity for us to develop ourselves without major interference. Although the little devils are there, and sometimes we become devils ourselves, my brothers and sisters. It's important for us to know that Allah has blessed us by telling us and informing us that the major devils are tied up in the month of Ramadan. So my brothers and sisters, what they do sometimes, they keep us in a certain place. They tie us down there before Ramadan. As Ramadan goes, we happen to do whatever we do in the month of Ramadan. The day we see the Eid or the moon of the Eid, we go back to exactly where we were prior to Ramadan. What was the point, my brothers and sisters? This is why, promise Allah that this Eid, we will not engage in that which will earn the wrath of Allah or make Him displeased with us. The reason is, as soon as we see the moon, two things happen. One is Ramadan comes to an end. That is also very sad. Eid is declared. Eid is declared that is something happy because we deserve a day of rejoicing after so much of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, intense worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the second thing that happens, my brothers and sisters, those devils who were, that were tied prior to Ramadan, they are released. Subhanallah. And this is why, may Allah protect us from the devil. On the day of Eid, many people without knowing or sometimes knowingly, they start to commit sins that displease Allah. Yet it is the day of pleasure, the day to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the clothing that we are wearing on the day of Eid, especially when it comes to our sisters, let us make sure that it is cut in a way that will please Allah. It is His day. It is His day. Whatever we plan to do on that day, we should never plan to do anything that will displease Allah. Look, my brothers and sisters, every time there is a happy occasion, we celebrate it by increasing the acts of worship. So I explained to you when it comes to marriage, what a happy occasion. We have an extra khutbah. When it comes to Jumu'ah, what a happy occasion. We have a khutbah that is something that is not there on other days. When it comes to Eid, 
the happiness of a Muslim is shown by extra worship. So we have Salatul Eid. We have an extra prayer on that particular day. This is how we as believers show our happiness and gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying Him more, by doing things that will please Him. Look at the other Eid that we will be having inshallah in approximately two and a half months from now. We find the Eid where we will be sacrificing. That is an extra act of worship for the sake of Allah. This is how we declare our happiness. We have never been taught to declare our happiness by doing that which will displease Allah. We have meetings with the opposite sex on the day of Eid to go back and do whatever we did not do in the month of Ramadan in terms of sin. Is that what Eid is all about? Sometimes we become involved in gluttony to the degree that we eat as though we are doing qada of what we have missed in the month of Ramadan. If that is the case, we have missed the point. It is a day of eating, but it is not a day of gluttony. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. It is not a day when we are supposed to eat until we get sick. That is not Eid. Eid is a day when we are conscious of Allah. We thank Him for having given us a beautiful season and having come out with the forgiveness. This is why my brothers and sisters, are you aware of the fact that the eve of the Eid, once the moon is sighted, it is known as Laylatul Ja'iza. It is known as the eve of prize giving. And this is why in one narration, the Prophet ﷺ says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls out to his angels on that eve and he asks them, what do you think the reward of a slave who has fulfilled his job is? They will say, Oh our Lord, it is to be given what he was promised. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, All my worshippers who have fasted for me, who have prayed for me, O oh my angels, I let you bear witness that I have forgiven them completely. It is the night of forgiveness when the prizes are given. You know, a child who has been to the school through the year and worked very hard is a child that deserves the prize. And there will be a night where that prize is actually given to the child, making the child feel happy. What about the prize dished out by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And that is forgiveness and freedom from Jahannam. If I were to die now, I have no hope but in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah have mercy on myself and yourself.